jailhouse tapes. We've got them. Ronald Cummings, Haley's father, along with the stepmother, former babysitter, 18-year-old Misty Crosland. Let me tell you, people, they're some of the hardest working people in America. Because according to this police report that I've got right here in my hands, they're out selling dope 4.30 in the morning till nearly midnight at every gas station, convenience store, truck stop, right there on the street. You name it. To you, Marlena Shivo, what do we learn in Ronald Cummings' jailhouse tapes? We learned that Ronald, even behind bars, facing a lot of jail time, possibly, that he will still only talk about Haley. He says if, to this moment, he has not changed his mind. If he finds the person that killed Haley, he will kill that person. He doesn't care what kind of jail time he will face. He doesn't care if it even offers up the death penalty. It's worth it to him, Nancy. Okay. Let me ask you this, Marlena, and I appreciate all that feeling, all that emotion he's got about revenge. But why is he selling dope instead of out looking for his daughter? Could, could somebody tell me that? Well, Ronald's not going to tell you that. The only thing he said about this is that it is a, quote, setback in his life. He's not talking about the drug charges. All he knows is that he may be facing a lot of prison time. He doesn't call Misty uh, anything but a friend slash uh, ex-wife, and he doesn't say anything about selling drugs with her. Well, he can start calling her his co-defendant. Take a listen to more of the jailhouse tapes we have obtained. Ronald Cummings, as you know, along with three others, busted on felony drugs. And listen, I've been with Ronald Cummings from the get-go. He would come on this show repeatedly, answering your questions live. He volunteered for a polygraph. He did everything right in the search for his little girl, five-year-old Haley Cummings. As you will recall, Haley, taken from the home, according to the babysitter, in the middle of the night, from the same room she's in as they lay sleeping. Does the story stink to high heaven? Take a listen to this. And what would you do? I mean, with what? With that person. Kill him. Same thing I said on the 911 call. Okay, right. Well, I just want to make sure. I'm telling you, I ain't changed my mind yeah. not a bit. Um. Well, what did they ask you about her, or what did they say to you? Just that they, I mean, is that all they said? Yep, that's it. So they haven't questioned you or asked you if you found out anything from Misty or found out anything mm -hmm. from anybody else? Or... Mm -hmm. No. They, 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 they know I haven't that. found out anything, Dana. They know I haven't, because they know that they'd be the first ones to know. I wouldn't call them or nothing else. They would be notified probably by the news media or somebody, you know, reporting the homicide. So they already know that I haven't found out anything. They don't have to ask me a dumb question like that. Because you're saying that if, if you found out, you'd do what you think you need to do, and they'd find out about that. Yeah. Have they asked you about Haley yet? Yep. What, what, when was that? Wednesday, right after they captured me. Or apprehended me, whatever they want to call it. Okay. What did they, what happened? Uh, nothing. They just told me that their main focus is not on putting me in jail, but finding Haley. They didn't really question me, man. They already know that I don't, I don't know nothing about Haley's disappearance right, or right. nothing else, or otherwise I'd already been in DOC. I mean, the 911 call, I haven't changed my mind about the 911 call since the, the minute it was made. Okay. That still remains. That It don't matter 40, 50 years from now, if I find whoever done it before they do, you know, whatever might be done, whether they took Haley because they lost a child or whatever the case might be, you know. Um, yeah, if I find out who or, or however there's two people, three people, whatever did, whatever took my daughter wherever, then when I find out, if I find out before the police, it's going to be done for them, done dealing. I have satisfaction knowing that I got the person who stole my daughter from me.